Hi, this is John from Chicago. Welcome to my channel. Um, for tiny whoops, I would say everybody would say the Emacs uh, Tiny Hawk is either the best or the second best uh, tiny whoop that you could get. It's all around, it's a great quad, it's fun to fly, uh, it's fast, and it uh, holds up really great. Uh, what Emacs did is they improved on it. Uh, they came out with a new model. They call it the Tiny Hawk S, this black model here. Uh, what the main advantage of that is it's now able to fly both 1S with a single cell or 2S with two cell battery. Uh, so it gives you that option. They also corrected a few items on it. The original one, the uh, spider arms here where they meet the hoops would occasionally break they now make that connection point twice as thick. I'll show you a close-up view of that. And um, the other thing that they did was they changed the motors. Uh, they made the motors a little bit smaller, but yet they're the same speed and a little bit more efficient. They're, um, um, they're a uh, 0802 versus an 082.5, so it's a half a millimeter less thickness on the stator height. Um, they're, both of them are great motors, they have ball bearings in there and they last really good. Uh, they also made a few other changes. The propellers they give you are four bladed versus three. The four bladed propellers uh, will turtle mode, flip over after a crash easier uh, and I think it, it increases the speed a little bit so the new model is slightly faster on 1S. Uh, the other thing is the price. Um, the original one was $99 and the new one's $99, but they took uh, the original one, they're still selling it, but it's $10 less. But for that $10 you're getting, uh, for $99 on the new one, you're getting two batteries instead of one, you're getting a 2S battery, and you get a charger that will charge um, um, 2S batteries as well as 1S batteries. So you're for the money, um, you're getting an upgraded quad. I would recommend just buying the new one. Uh, the holder, battery holder on the bottom, uh, they do it with rubber bands because you have different size batteries. Uh, it seems to work good. I had no problem with the 1S battery without the bands. It wouldn't fall off because they, the battery runs 90 degrees to the way that it's flying so the case holds it on really great. Um, but um, the uh, other thing that's going on is with these 2S batteries, they are using the same connector as what they use on the 1S battery. It's not a standard battery connector for 2S, so none of the batteries that you can buy out there on the market right now uh, will work. Uh, so there's a shortage of 2S batteries. What I recommend you do is make a little connector. I took an old 1S battery that was puffed, could uh, cut off the connector and soldered on a uh, XT30 so I could use my standard batteries. Uh, the other thing that uh, my standard batteries have is they're better batteries. They have higher C values, so you're going to get more punch and um, more power out of them. Um, so let me go through, do some thrust tests next to show you the comparisons between the original 1S and the new 1S and then 2S and using upgraded batteries. 89, first bump. 68, second bump. 68, third bump. 118, second bump. 90, third bump. 98. Uh, 2S with standard battery. Second try. 108, second bump, 99, third bump, 121, 2S um, tattoo battery, 300 milliamp hour uh, with the Tiny Hawk uh, S. 158, second bump. 149 and third bump. 
253. Weight thrust of 201 grams with a power or weight ratio of 4.2 is very high, the highest so far for any whoop that I have tested. Uh, that came from the Tattoo uh, 300 milliamp hour battery. The Tiny Hawk S for the 1S test also was extremely high at 143 grams of thrust with a power or weight ratio of 3.5. The stock 2S battery only had a power or weight ratio of 3.5 and, and that's probably because of the low C value for that battery. Thrust testing is a short duration test. Another form of short duration test are radar speeds. Albert Kim reported in his review of this quad that the original GPS or the original um, Tiny Hawk had a speed of 35 miles an hour. The Tiny Hawk S um, with the 1S battery had a speed of 37 miles an hour and the um, 2S had a speed of 45 miles per hour. Now I'm showing um, a speed test going around a small course here uh, at our playground. Uh, the quad on the left is the original Tiny Hawk uh, and it's averaging 13.3 seconds per lap. The quad on the right is the Tiny Hawk S running with 1S and it's running at 13 seconds per lap. The 13 seconds per lap for 1S is an extremely fast time. Up until this time my fastest time was 12 seconds with a trash can on 2S. As for 2S performance the um, stock battery was got 11.7 seconds per lap and that's the quad on the left. The quad on the right is running the Tattoo battery and it was a little bit slower at 13.7 um, seconds per lap. Uh, some of the problem, I think there be equally, we have equal speed but I just could not get uh, three consecutive fast laps in a row only trying it three times. So what I figured out for the speed test is the um, 2S batteries are only about a second faster per lap. This is probably because the propellers are optimized for 1S and it's overprop for 2S. I have added this um, information to my spreadsheet of the 12 uh, tiny whoops that I reviewed earlier this year and it's highlighted in yellow for the Tiny Hawk S. In summary, I recommend purchasing this quad. It's uh, still one of the best Tiny Whoops out there. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. Thank you for watching.